In this video, we are going to solve D1 exercise 1B and a very interesting topic that is of LCM and SCF. Now, starting from question number 3, find the largest whole number which is a factor of both 42 and 98. So, first of all, you have to decide whether we are going to find the LCM or the HCF whenever the word factor is used. So, keep the thing in mind that we are talking about HCF. So, factorize 42 and 98 mean find the prime factors 221 times 42, 37 times 21, 7, 1 times 7, 2, 49 times 98, 7, 7 times 49, 7, 1 times 7. So, you can write 42 as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7 these three factors and you can express 98 as a product of its prime factors in its index notation as 2 7 7 7 square one thing in mind 7 should be in the column of 7 2 should be in the column of 2 why this is 3 raised to the power 0 over here we don't have any 3 in the factors of 98 Yes, I want to complete the column of 3. So, instead of keeping this space empty, you can write 3 with the power 0. 3 with power 0 in order to complete the column. Now, talking about HCF, we have to take out a number from each column. From the column of 2, we have to take out 2, but with the power which is less 1 between these two. So, we have got 2 power 1 over here, 2 power 1 over here and because they are equal, so you can take out 2 power 1. You don't have a choice. When powers are equal, take it out as it is. From the column of 3, you have 3 power 1 and 3 power 0 because you are talking about HCF. So, the concept is for HCF, you have to take out the power which is less as compared to the other number, 3 power 0. And for the third case, when you have 7 power 1 and 7 power 2, concept says for HCF you have to take out the power from these two sevens which is less means 7 power 1. Now 3 power 0 is 1 as you know 2 into 7 is 14, 14 is the largest whole number, largest whole number which is a factor of both 42 and 98 yes 42 divided by 14 is possible 98 divided by 14 is possible so it is a factor and largest whole number. Question number 4, the number 792 and 900 written as product of their prime factors. No, prime factors, the product of prime factors in index notation for 792 are 2 power 3 into 3 power 2 into 11. While 990 is expressed is as a product of prime factors of its prime factors as 2 into 3 square into 11 into 5. I have written 2 in the column of 2, 3 in the column of 3, 11 in the column of 11 and here we have 5. We don't have 5 in the factors of 792. We don't have a 5. So, you are going to write 5 power 0 over here in the solution. What we need to find? You need to find the greatest whole number which can divide both 792 and 900. Now, when we are talking about the deviation, the concept could be in the mind of factors. Factors are those which who divide basically the numbers. A factor divides its number. How? So, express 792 as product of its prime factors. 792 is 2 power 3, 3 power 2, 11. 2 power 3, 3 power 2 and 11. And here I have added this one 5 power 0 which was originally not present over here. Just to complete the column of 5. If a number is missing, you can enter that number with the power 0. 990 is 2 into 3 square into 11 into 5 as given in the question. HCF, we are talking about HCF, DVN, mean, factors, factors are the numbers which divide the, the number whose they are basically the factors, mean, uh, mean, let me explain after finding 198 the answer, let me explain after that. So, 2 power 3, 2 power 1, as per rule, HCF is you have to take out a number out of these two with less power. So, 2 power 3 to power 1. Compare them. 2 power 1 is less. Take it out. We are finding HCF. 3 square, 3 square. Powers are same. Take out 3 square. 11 power 1, 11 power 1. Powers are same. 11 power 1 will be taken out. 5 power 0, 5 power 1. 5 power 0 will be taken out. Less 1. 
multiply them 2 into 3 square into 11 into 5 power 0 you will get 198 now 198 is a number which can divide 900 as well as 990 excuse me for that this is 990 and 792 so this is a factor of both of them that's what i was talking about over here divide 198 can divide both of them okay question number five the numbers 176 and 342 written as product of their prime factors now 176 has been expressed as product of its prime factors in index notation and 342 is also expressed as product of its prime factors in index notation what we need to find smallest whole number that is divisible divisible the word is divisible here the word was divided here the word is divisible here we obtained hcf here we are going to talk about lcm divisible a number which is divisible by both of them so it should be lcm of both of them okay 176 expressed as a product of its prime factor 342 expressed as product of its prime factor what to observe over here 11 power 0 go in the factors of 342 342 don't have doesn't have any 11 as you can see so here because the column of 11 should be complete 11 power 0 is inserted over here just to make this column complete 3 power 0 is inserted in the factors of 176 you can see we don't have got any 3 in the factors of 176 this was not originally a factor of 176 but basically 3 power 0 is 1 so 1 is a factor of 176 3 power 0 is 1 1 is a factor of 176 no, we don't have any issue for that so just to make the column complete you can insert 3 power 0 similarly we have inserted 19 power 0 just to make the column of 19 a complete column no because we are talking about lcm for lcm you have to take out the power which is large among these two 2 power 4 and 2 power 1 which one is large 2 power 4 is large take it out take it out from 11 11 power 1 11 power 0 which one is large 11 power 1 take it out take it out 3 power 0 3 power 2 which one is large 3 power 2 take it out 19 power 0 19 power 1 which one is large 19 power 1 is bigger as compared to 19 power 0 talking about lcm take out bigger power 19 power 1 is out multiply all of them this is your answer question number six find the smallest value again the word is smallest so we have observed that the word smallest is mostly referring to the lcm okay value of n such that the lcm of n and 15 is 45 okay lcm of which two numbers n and 15 no first of all write down the factors of 15 that are 3 and 5 3 into 5 is 15 3 and 5 both are factors of 15 we have to take lcm of 3 and sorry n and 15 so that the lcm is 45 so 15 is 3 into 5 n what should be n i have inserted these values for myself i have to take lcm of both of them now what is the possible case suppose if i insert 5 power 1 and 3 power 1 over here this is an assumption so we will take out 3 power 1 from here and 5 power 1 from here highest power is 3 power 1 3 power 1 highest power is 3 power 1 for lcm we take out the highest power 5 power 1 5 power 1 so you will take out 5 power 1 the answer will be 15 which is not suitable we want 45 keep in mind 45 if i insert here 3 power 2 because my concept is i have to take highest power so 3 power 2 is greater than 3 power 1 when i will take out common i will take out 3 power 2 in case of lcm 3 power 2 what about 5 i can write here 5 power 0 no matter doesn't matter the column of 5 is complete though this has power 0 doesn't matter so what is the highest power here highest power is 5 power 1 you can take out 5 power 1 the highest one for the case of lcm we take highest powers 3 power 2 is 9 into 5 45 now the answer is 45 now this is the smallest value of n what does this mean this is smallest value of n definitely n that means n must have some other value yes n have some other value but the smallest one is 45 how another value you can write here 5 power 1 doesn't matter when you will write here 5 power 1 you will be having here 5 power 1 now the lcm is 45 but the value of n is no change 5 power 1 is 5 into 9 so 9 
fives are 45 so the value of n changes now by keeping 5 power 0 and remains smallest that is 9 so this is the solution for these questions subscribe the channel i will be uploading lessons on d1 d2 d3 d4 o levels cash course o levels past paper a levels thank you so much